This is a new smoke element here. It's just a resistor, kind of, you know, wrapped around there. This is what's in there. These are the old ones, and they don't smoke quite as well as these nice new ones. So you just simply put a piece of shrink tubing on there because you got to insulate the one side. And we'll let that cool for a little bit. This goes on here. Okay. Um, what I do with these, if they're really cruddy, I take them and I boil a small can of uh, water in an old tin can. And I boil it for about 10 minutes and I'll just soften everything up on there. Let's see. You know what, we gotta cut it off. I'm gonna go ahead and boil this in some water just to get everything out of here. Yeah, that's stuck in there kind of good. That's that's a mess. Okay. Um, sometimes when you buy these kits, it comes with this stuff here. And actually, this seems to work a lot better for me. I don't know why what the material is but it seems to get a lot more smoke when I use these all right I can take us upstairs and uh, boil some water so I just get a can here from you know tuna or shrimp or whatever that's from I don't know some kind of seafood put some water in it let that boil don't let your wife see it or your mom. All right, we're gonna wait till that boils. I'll be right back. Okay, so I got that boiling. We'll turn the uh, heat down just a little bit, just to so we just keep it barely boiling here. And then we'll put our uh, smoke unit in there, just like that. And we'll let that cook for five or ten minutes. Now there is, whatever's in that smoke fluid, uh, it's kind of messy and it does, you got to be careful, you don't want that to overboil, make a mess. Of course, don't get it in your eye, so you don't want to overdo it. So that's only been in there for a minute or two and uh, cleaning up pretty good. It's, uh, all that stuff in there is getting pretty soft. I think this old fashioned uh, the smoke pellets, I think they were like a paraffin based. Let that cook for a little bit. There you go. And here is, come on. Oh, okay. That was a felt piece that was on the top of the smoke unit and uh, it kind of disintegrated. I was wondering if we were going to be able to save it or not, but nope. That's all right. That's pretty gunky. Let that cool for a minute, see if we can get this apart. Without burning myself. So yeah, there's a metal tab that goes over the edge here. Okay, that's only been about three or four minutes and that's pretty clean. There's a, a little bit in there. I can clean that out with a wire brush, but it's, it's clean. And where's the, the other piece? Yeah, it's 
clean. So, I mean, you can use a wire brush, but really this makes it a lot quicker and cleaner. So, just be careful. Don't burn yourself. So that came out pretty clean. Um, I hit it with the wire brush a little bit and this little pencil wire brush. Get the extra out of there. Clean that up a little bit. Doink, doink. So we're in good shape. So we put the little pad in here. And we got the one side that's hot and the other side that goes to ground. So only one side needs to be insulated. I want to make sure that that's insulated because it will short out your train, if not. So the side with the shrink tubing goes in the bigger hole. And you got to kind of squeeze that in. And I forgot to heat up the soldering iron. Okay, give me a minute to heat up the soldering iron. Okay, got the soldering iron heated up. Okay, so this side here, you want to make sure it's insulated and soldered to that wire. You want, you want to make sure it's not touching anything in there. And the other side of it, you want it to be grounded. I soldered that to the cap. If I have a problem with it and that solder doesn't hold, I'll have to run a wire down to like here or somewhere. See, the, uh, the original ones have this little tab on it right there. And that comes out of that slot and grounds the other side of it. So these do not have that tab and it won't fit in there. So we'll see how that works. If it doesn't work, then I'll just attach a wire to it and uh, ground it to the screw down here. Okay, so I guess now, oh, I got to put the brushes in here. Yikes, you gotta clean that out a lot. looks a lot better.
Okay, let's put this back together. That looks better. You know what? I forgot to put something in there. Be there. I gotta take us apart. I'll be right back. Forgot to put that on. That goes on here. This is what came with the uh, the kits, and that doesn't really fit. So we use this one here. I don't know where that came from. two things I had to go back and fix on this. There's a wire on the bottom of the E unit that connects to that solder point down there that I soldered before. And on the bottom of the E unit, there's three wires that come off and one of the wires goes to that. And that connects to these rollers here for the hot. So I had to solder that on. And then my smoke unit was not working it wasn't getting a good enough ground on here from the uh, the cap on the top. So I soldered a wire onto the end, the other end of the element here and ran that wire to ground on the side of the uh, E unit. So that's grounded. Okay, just need to clean this up a little bit. And then we'll take it upstairs and test it.
see the reverse unit is working just fine.